So hello everybody, Naomi here, helping you connect the dots between your health, happiness and hormones. And today I want to talk about natural progesterone cream because everyone's talking about it. It's available on iHerb, everyone can get it. Here in Australia you can't get it, but it's pretty widely available. But it's a hormonal um, medication. It is a supplement, even though it's natural, we do need to be very careful with it. So natural progesterone cream, when you're looking at it, you wanna be getting USP micronized because we know that that works really well in your body. You wanna be getting something with the least amount of excipients. You don't want tons of chemicals added. You're gonna be putting it on your skin. So you really don't wanna um, be anything that's got chemicals. Now, natural progesterone cream is either from wild jam or it's from soy. It goes through a process where it's micronized and it's kind of turned into a milligram of progesterone. Some are five milligrams per pump some are 30 milligrams per pump but um you, it will say it should say on the ingredients how many milligrams of progesterone that you're getting there are some creams that aren't micronized and there aren't too many clinical studies done on them so i'm thinking of anna's wild yam cream lots of anecdotal evidence but there's not the evidence to back, to back up that the body is actually utilizing it as progesterone. It's more that it's helping with the cholesterol levels and the precursors to hormones. And then through the hormone cascade, your hormones are produced and your progesterone is balanced out. But the micronized progesterone cream, it is a plant source. Now, would you use that or would you use Prometrium, something like a bio-identical medication that's, that's the same ingredients, one's a cream, one's a medication. There is a huge difference, even though they're both bio-identical, even though they're both natural, the cream is far less likely to affect your liver and to affect your gallbladder. When you take something like the bio-identical tablet like Prometrium, you're getting about 200 milligrams of progesterone. And that needs to be processed through your gut. It's then processed through your liver using glucuronidation, using sulfation, and then those metabolites are put into the gallbladder. And this can put tremendous amount of pressure on your gallbladder. And this is why some women suspect or have noted that they do get gallbladder issues after medicating themselves with hormone balancing, hormone supplementation. So USP cream, the bioidentical cream versus the bioidentical tablets, I would always go with the cream. You can take a smaller dose, you know, 30 milligrams a day. You can ensure that it gets absorbed and not by, by the gut. You can put it onto the skin here or you can also put it down um, in the vagina as well on that mucous membrane and that way it kind of goes to that area and you can be really sure that your body is not utilized, it's not going through the liver and it's not going through the gallbladder. When you look at the bioidentical tablets like the Prometrium, you need to know that your liver's working really well, you need to have a good functioning gallbladder, you need to have had those blood tests and your liver function tests prior, and you definitely need to know in a Dutch hormone test what your hormones are doing. Because the but these hormones, even though they're bioidentical, not only can they build up in the body and in your fatty tissue, but they can put tremendous pressure on your gallbladder. So when it comes to bioidentical micronized progesterone cream versus the bioidentical tablets like Prometrium, I would go with the cream every single day time. I think it's healthier for you. We know that it's more bioavailable and we can also manage the dose. We don't have to put on a full dose. Um, you can you can lower the dose, you can make the dose a little bit higher depending on what's going on or what time in your cycle or whether you're suffering from anxiety. So that's my take on bioidentical cream versus tablets. I'd love to know your experiences. If you've got any questions, please post them below. And if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about Vitex as well, you can, um, ch and tra Chase Tree, which is a herb that supports fertility and it supports your progesterone levels. You can just check out this video above. Have a great day, guys. Bye.